Corey Bulpit loves the ads. He also loves the spray can, but we'll get to that later. He loves the ads because it's fast and accurate if you know how to use it. It just removes so much wood in a concise manner. And I mean, especially once you actually know how to use the tool. Like, uh, you know, some people when they ads, they're going to take off layer by layer by layer. But really, the, the whole function of an ad is you can... Like when I took this, I could just go boom, 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 boom. And there you go, like right to that spot while this wood's still this thick. This mask was out the door in two days, start to finish, to the Cranmer pot latch in Alert Bay. Corey is prolific. He does what he wants and he works all the time. He tries new things, like this articulating heron, the carpenter, or this hide a fighting sword he pounded out of solid copper. But this is all pounded, cold forged. You know, and I just did that. I didn't take any training to do it or anything. I just, just decided I'm going to make a short sword and, and I do it, you know. I think I think that's that's the kind of artists graffiti artists are, you know. Uh, it's like people that just want to go, they'll just explore and do things. Just pick it up. Just pick it up and go for it, right? He knows this because he started out as a graffiti artist. But, you know, we'd get these groups of guys and we were all graffiti artists. And what we'd do was really just for us, you know, it wasn't, for the rest of the world or you know we're painting these pieces and they'd get painted over by the city or painted over by whoever and we paid our own money to do it or you know guys would rack paint to do it like but you know it was like a free form of art for us that we're putting out there but we didn't care what anyone else thought like it didn't matter so you know like say with spray painting right it's may not be what people would deem traditional, but at the same time, it's coming from a tradition of like longhouse fronts, like to large scale paintings like that. And I'm just using a medium that's faster for me to use than, you know, if I wanted to hand paint a wall, it could take me two weeks for, uh, or longer for like some of the size buildings I do, you know, some of them are a couple hundred feet long or something. Yeah. Um, you know, I could do that in an afternoon or two afternoons, right? In fact, he sees graffiti and spray painting as descendants of ancient tradition. Just uh, what they call one shot in the graffiti world. At the time was for criminal activity, so you're gonna wanna do it fast and get out fast. I've been painting graffiti since I was about 15 or 14. Yeah, maybe tagging since about 13. So, you know, even when you're young, it's really developing your hand-to-eye coordination and your uh, scaling abilities from small to large. So when I started carving, it was basic for me to scale up a totem pole from a little drawing to a 20, 30, 40 foot pole. I make decisions on the fly most of the time. I just let it kind of come to me as I'm doing it, you know. But it's also at the same time pretty rigid and conforms to how to art. Yeah, I think so. It's kind of in the tradition of house fronts to me, the tradition of marking your territory with petroglyphs or marking, humans have been marking their kind of space or areas they've traveled for uh, millennia, really. So, you know, it's kind of something rooted in mankind, I think, to mark surfaces with something that has to do with you or your culture. 